morning guys welcome to today's video so we are back home i'm whispering by the way because it's 6 50 in the morning i don't know how but i woke up early today joe left for work so he woke me up like when he was leaving and instead of going back to bed i decided to get up because i have a lot to do today given that we got back home last night yes you have to do a lot of work too yeah riley is awake by the way so here i was thinking i was getting up early before the kids and she woke up so we'll have to see if i'm able to even be productive this morning but we got in last night like at nine o'clock at night and i was up super late because i unpacked my suitcase i actually unpacked it in the same day that i got home so within two hours it was unpacked so that makes my life a lot easier you guys have seen before like i've gone weeks with having my suitcase like still full of clothes so i'm very proud of myself that at least that is done so i want to go downstairs show you the garden i saw it last night when i came in and it's not looking good you guys let to check the garden today see if it's okay while we were gone and mom checked in the corn was dead and oh yeah the corn is dead yeah but i have to bring baby there because like i need to get some fresh air because she's not feeling well and um her wake up your baby she's yeah. gonna take care of her baby all day long i really have to get her teeth brushed before we go to the bed baptism and then we're gonna and then I have to feed her take her bath and then I have to put her in the stroller so we'll go to the baptism. Oh, a pretend baptism? Yeah, it's a pretend one. I have to bring your rosary because like rosaries are allowed because that is praising God. It's only, it's only me and my baby. Okay, sounds I, good. I have to get dressed. Okay. It's actually like a super gloomy day outside <laughs> so we're gonna see how much we can take care of in the garden when we go out there but then i also have a walmart pickup order to do and then i was messaging my girlfriend from mom's club and i'm gonna go to her house we we're gonna go meet up at the park but it's like raining so i'm gonna go to her house take the kids so they can have a little play date so we've got like a lot of things to do but before we get into the rest of the day i did want to thank Catalina Crunch for sponsoring today's video. I finally got a code for you guys on the snack mixes. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about them and then give you my code, all of that. In case you want to try them out, you can save some money. So I actually have failed to put these away because I took these in the car um, to St. Augustine and to my mom's house, all of that. These are some of the snacks that we packed. They've got a bunch of stuff. They have cereal. They have these snack mixes, which are great. And then they also have cookies. But today I just wanted to talk to you guys about the snack mixes. So here in this house, I don't know about you guys, but we're a big fan of snack mixes. So these are keto friendly, made with clean ingredients, and then they're high protein, high fiber, and they taste delicious. These so far have been my two favorites, the cheddar and the traditional. They've got things like um, pretzels, and this I think is some of like their cereal, and then there's nuts. So just made with things that aren't gonna leave you feeling like, what the heck am I eating myself or giving my kids? Like this is a great back to school snack. If you guys are packing lunches these days, or preparing food for your little ones, this is something that you can give them and you know that instead of just giving them like a regular snack mix, it's something that's a little bit better for them. I myself am not doing keto, but I do gravitate towards products that are keto friendly just because they're usually a little bit better for you. And I've been telling you guys how much more I've been paying attention to like labels and stuff and little switches like this make my heart happy. And for the most part, like the stuff that I eat and snack on, especially like they don't have to be always perfect, but if I can just make a little switch, a little swap, that makes it a little bit cleaner, that in my opinion is worth it. This is something that the kids have liked and for having like better for you ingredients, it actually tastes super good. I had to restrain myself on the car ride home because all I wanted to do is snack. Like I don't know if you guys are like that, but when I'm on a road trip, I like to just snack and stuff my face with food and I had to like really hold back. Otherwise I would have eaten every single one of these packages. This is not what I should be eating at seven o'clock in the morning, but I'm gonna put them away and then have them later today. So if you wanna try them out, I'm gonna leave my code here on the screen. It gets you 15% off plus free shipping on their website if you wanna try it on any of the snack mixes. They do have these other two flavors. So this is like a creamy ranch and then this one is a spicy one. I'm not a fan of spicy, so I'm gonna leave that one for Joe, but I am gonna try the ranch one. This one is super good. Mm. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like that one compared to the other ones that I had been eating. 
Um, and that one is super good. So if you're like a big snacker, you like chips, you like that salty, you know, savory snack um, throughout the day or with your lunch or whatever, I feel like this is a great option. They also have the resealable bag, so that keeps them nice and fresh. Really appreciate that. I believe on their website, they sell a four pack variety. Like if you wanna try them all out and then from that point forward, you figure out which one you like, then you can order just that one. You can do that. I think they also have a subscribe and save feature. So you don't have to subscribe and save, but I think if you subscribe and save, and you can adjust like how often you want your shipment, you get 20% off of your order that way. Some people, once they decide that they like something, they're like, you know what, I'll save whatever I can if I'm gonna order it anyway. I'm just gonna put it on subscribe and save and then save some money that way. But I think this is great. It says Catalina Snacks was founded by a diabetic who believes you can enjoy great tasting cereals and snacks earnestly made with protein, fiber, and good fats while minimizing sugars, combining natural science and culinary arts to create a delicious, healthier products that help you achieve a better life. So very little sugar in here, totals one sugar, one gram of sugar on this one, one gram of sugar on this one, less than one gram of sugar on this one. And then in terms of protein, like this has eight grams of protein in a serving and like a traditional, you know, snack mix, like you would think of going to the grocery store getting a snack mix. Those usually have about two grams of protein for every serving. It'll keep you full longer. So I am a fan. I told you that I've been trying them and I tried them before I agreed to work with them. So the fact that I am sharing these with you is because I really love them and I will continue to eat them. So Joe likes them, the kids like them. So we are fans of that. I have the link again in the description box if you wanna check it out. And let's get on with the day because we got a lot to do. Okay, so much for me like being able to do stuff before the kids are awake because Jackson is screaming for me. So that was kind of a fail today. Hi. Hi. You wanna play with your fire truck? Yeah. How are you today? I'm really good. Really good? Yeah. yeah. Come on, Mama. Mm -mm. Ma. I'm just glad that he actually slept in his crib because last night when I was putting him down for bed, he's like, I sleep with mama because he's been sleeping with me in my bed like all the time that we were in St. Augustine. So Lacey slept in his crib, didn't wake up at night, but he is awake a little bit earlier. Little miss, hey, what are you doing over here? Organizing. Organizing my nail polishes. Are you going to come downstairs to have breakfast? You want to bring your baby? Here, first clean up, put all those nail polishes back in, and then let's go downstairs so we can eat breakfast and check out the garden. How do you want your waffle cut into little pieces? Big or little? your breakfast of course the kids have been just of course super excited to like have their toys back and all their stuff so they're gonna make a mess today another thing on my list of things to do you guys is another toy rotation because this has been by far the worst rotation we've ever done like I'm just gonna tell you straight up there are now a million toys cars like I don't know what happened how they all came to be here but I need to do that if not today, then like by tomorrow, the latest. Do you like your breakfast? Hmm. Yeah. Is it yummy? Your butt. What? Your butt. What? What do you like? Your butt. Eat your cereal. You like the cereal? Yeah. I gave him a little bit. Yeah, it's black. I gave him a little bit of the Catalina Crunch cereal to try the actual cereal, and he seems to like it. So that's nice. So while they are having their breakfast, I. Okay, sorry. I'm getting like text messages. Looks like Riley has a dentist appointment tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to make that. Wonderful. Back to reality, right? So while they are having their breakfast, I am gonna take a look at. I have to put a video to go live today. So it's still early. It's 7:51. Normally I'm still asleep at this time. So I finished editing last night after I unpacked my suitcase. I was working on editing the first St. Augustine vlog. I was working on it till like over one in the morning. So I did get a lot of sleep last night, but I was really hoping to try to stick to my schedule this week. And I know that some people don't love like the travel vlogs. So I know some people just want to get back to like reality, normal content. So I'm trying to get these out so that I can film like today back home. Like there's just a lot that I have to catch up on for work. So I'm doing my best, you guys. I hope you see that. I hope you know that. Um, I'm trying to 
do what I can to give you guys at least some content. Like I think I posted in the community tab, like, you know, it's been a lot of traveling and I'm gonna give you a little spoiler alert. Uh, there's gonna be more traveling because Joe has a training. Joe has a training in St. Augustine again uh, for three weeks. And I'm not gonna go there the whole three weeks, but like here were my options. My options were either be here by myself with the two kids for three whole weeks and solo mom it for three weeks and I, I didn't want to do that. That was not a good option. Or try to find a way to like go with him, but I didn't want to go with him and be in St. Augustine in a tiny hotel room for three weeks with two kids. So I think I'm gonna go for one week if it all pans out, you know, how it's supposed to. Um, I think I'm gonna go with him for a week and then he's gonna drive me down on the weekend to my parents and I'm gonna stay with Mimi and Papa for two weeks. And then after that, we will be back in Virginia. For a little while, I think, until at least um, Thanksgiving. Yeah, so the plan is to go see Joe's brother and his family for Thanksgiving. And then December, still not sure what that looks like. That's when we had, I think it's crazy children. We had our um, Disney trip planned in December. I think I'm still gonna go. I get questions about that all the time. Are you still going? The thing is I'm going with, or when I booked it, I booked it with my girlfriend. And I'm not sure if she's still going. We kind of have to talk about it. But I've been thinking like, even if she decides that she doesn't want to go, I might still want to take the kids like for their birthday, have that be like their birthday celebration. We might still be doing that. And then there's Christmas, you know, the craziness of all that. So it's gonna be a busy, it's gonna be a busy time. So that's why I've got two weeks now to take care of stuff here in my house, in the garden, all of that. Um, get get some stuff prepped for like the fall garden. And then I'll be gone for three weeks. And then when we get back, we'll have a good chunk of time in the fall to take care of like house projects and all of that. So I'm doing the best with the cars that I've been dealt. That's not ideal. When Joe told me he had a three week training, I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? So not the most ideal thing, but I'm gonna, you know, I don't have that many options, so I have to make the best of it. So that is what the plan is for now. So let me take care of my work. Then once the kids are done eating, we'll look at the garden, we'll go pick up groceries, we'll keep doing the things. All right, so let's go out here before it starts raining, because it is gonna start raining. First of all, I had some little plants here, like herbs, they died. I was expecting them to die, so these don't like, you know, bring me tears of sadness right now. But I'll just replant those if I want to. And then this is what the garden is looking like. So we're gonna go down there now. Can you see that my sunflowers have started to bloom or like they're open up there. So I'm very happy that at least I got to see that. My roses surprisingly are looking pretty decent. At least a lot of the flowers are back because a lot of these had died. I really wasn't expecting to get like another bloom of flowers. I have so many weeds that I have to like fix in there. But that was a nice surprise. Same thing over here, like all of these weeds grew like crazy. So, I mean, the flowers didn't all die, but there's a lot of weeds that I have to do. Look at all of this, just more weeding. Like, was it just like storming, raining? Like, I don't understand what happened here. All of this grass is like super tall. So we'll start over here. This was pretty good. Like I was happy to see this. There was a lot of growth in terms of the cantaloupe and tomatoes. So they're not dead. I just have to go in here and like weed and rearrange things. So these are tomato plants. I had put like three or four tomato plants. Like that's a tomato, that's a tomato. And then cantaloupe was supposed to kind of go on the bottom and kind of be like a, what is it? Like a ground cover. So, I mean, that seems to be working. It's just getting a little out of control. So I need to like come in here and fix that up. Same with what was happening over here. There's some cantaloupe and then a couple of tomato plants. This tomato plant doesn't seem to be doing as great, but I need to come in here and weed all the things. And then this looks like a freaking jungle right now. This is insane. So where do I even start? Sweet potatoes. I can definitely go in there now and I need to like completely get all the sweet potatoes out of the bed. So that is a task for this week. Um, I did get a little bit of lettuce. So that wasn't here before I left, um, you know, when I left. So I have some lettuce that I can probably put in the fridge. And then these green beans, I'm gonna pick whatever's left because I do think that there's maybe some green beans that I can harvest. Um, see, we've got like a couple, but I think these are pretty much done. I had succession sowed a few of them. So there might be some new plants somewhere. See, there's some new growth, but then some of it looks dead. So I have to kind of come in here and see 
what's going on with that. My pumpkin though, <laughs> my pumpkin is still alive, at least from this angle, unless there's like bugs over there, but it's a nice orange color. So I have to figure out like when it's actually ready, but that was a nice surprise. Before I left, I found so many squash bugs, which I'm sure there are tons of. And then my flowers seem to be doing pretty good. Then you can see, oh my God, it's starting to rain and my camera's out here. So we've got some flowers. The corn is what is completely dead. So I need to pull out all of that corn because that did not survive. There is nothing good there. And then watermelon, let me show you. First of all, this plant was completely knocked over when I got here last night. So there are a bunch of ready to harvest cherry tomatoes. So I'm gonna come out here later and get those. This beautiful, like, uh, remember like the really pretty pink flower that I had? Pink purpley flower with all the bees? It is deceased, so farewell to that. Um, I did have some Brussels sprouts that survived, so that's good. And then look at the state of the tomatoes. The tomatoes have been knocked over. It looks like, again, there was some kind of storm or something. So I have to come in here, harvest a bunch of tomatoes that are ready to go. But I need to fix all of that. And then watermelon. Watermelon? I'm not really sure what's up with watermelon. Like, I have some watermelons here. But then this one, is that like end rot? Is that what it is there? Because I have to do some research. But that one's not looking all that great. But maybe this watermelon is still decent. But you see how sad I am? Like, all this corn is no longer good. Because it went way past. And I don't know if it just didn't get enough water. Or just it was over. Like, the plant died because it was out of time but I have to take out all this corn and then my basil is already flowering you see that that's what it looks like when it's flowering so that means that it's gone like too long so I'll have to cut some of that back I've got some tomato plants though that are doing well so these were all tomatoes that I had planted of course there's a million weeds in here uh, I had zucchini I think there's oh my goodness there is a huge zucchini back here what in the... This one might be the... Holy crap! I have to show you the size of this zucchini. You guys aren't even going to believe me. That is... Oh, that's not even... That's not even okay. So I'll show you the size of that zucchini. Um, I do have some cantaloupe, but it's looking like it's ready. You see? Just straight up came off the vine, but then there's like a bug in it. So I guess I can't eat that anymore. So that might be a fail. Are any of these maybe like not eaten by bugs? You see, when they go too long, then they get eaten by bugs. So that makes me really sad. There's another one in there that I think has been completely eaten by bugs. So we'll have to wait for some more cantaloupe, I guess, or like start some new plants. All of this is like a jungle. So there's that, but I think there's a giant zucchini back there. But you see, this is what happens when you don't like maintain your garden. Then it looks like this. You guys know that my mine did not look like this before. Some of these tomatoes are going to be bad. Like they are just eaten by bugs or just, see, this is not a good tomato. Um, but maybe some of them we can salvage and we can eat. If not, we'll have to wait for some better ones. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys that you're not ready to see the next thing that I'm going to show you. So the zucchini. The zucchini that was out there in the garden. You ready? This is abnormal. Riley, what do you think of this? Oh my goodness! What is this, Riley? <laughs> that is the biggest zucchini <laughs> of my entire life. <laughs> Jackson, Jackson is trying to pretend that he's like making food, by the way. He's like a little chef with this hat on. Um, that is a huge <laughs> zucchini. Um, I want to almost weigh this. I almost let's weigh it and see how much it weighs can i do that here like on the kitchen scale this is absurd like i'm about to show you guys on instagram and you guys are gonna freak but let's see how much it weighs here can i do pounds here how many Daddy, weighs Pam? it's at least three pounds Hey, mommy, hold. I, I don't know if this scale is gonna like be the most accurate because it's like kind of touching the counter, but there it says three pounds, 3.9 ounces. That's a freaking large zucchini. Like that is larger than my children. What do you think of that? Look, it's like a little baby. Little baby. Oh, this is heavier than a baby. I know. Well, mama, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this zucchini. Jackson, what do you want? 
he saw the cookies. <laughs> saw the Catalina Crunch cookies. Okay, are you gonna take that hat off? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna take that hat off? Cookies. You want some cookies? Did you eat your breakfast? No. Oh, excuse me, you gotta eat your breakfast. <laughs> okay, Mama, this is great. All right, so I made it over here to do my pickup order. Um, looking around now, it looks like there are trees down, so there must have been some kind of storms that happened because I didn't notice coming in last night because it was dark. But there's Do like you want anything up there with you? Um, maybe the eggs if you okay. find them. But trees are down. It's storming again today, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do of course today sorry my mom just called me <laughs> to tell me that everly cut a tooth so little everly has one little tooth on the bottom so anyway what was i even saying it's stormy i don't know how much i'm going to be able to do in the garden but i have like things that i have to take care of that are like time sensitive so that when we're gone for three weeks i leave my garden like as nice as possible so let's get home We've got the groceries to get these kids out of the house as a mission. Riley's like, I love my house. I don't want to leave it. I'm like, it's literally two minutes away from the house. We're going to go get our groceries. So let's put these away. I'll show you what I got. And then we're going to go to my friend's house. So I'll make breakfast for myself. I'm going to go to my friend's house. And then we'll talk after that. All right, the kids are watching Veggie Tales. Let's do a quick little grocery haul to show you what I've got. A lot of this stuff I got for the prepper pantry downstairs. So I'm trying to start working on like replenishing it because we've gone through a lot of the food down there. So I got a bunch of like baking stuff. Um, so I have to figure out how I'm gonna store this because like if I leave this out in the basement, like mice will get into it, bugs will get into it. So I need to either put them in like some bins, which I do have downstairs. I just, I'm not gonna show you now how I do it. Um, eventually I'd like to get to the point where I'm putting these like in mylar bags and putting them in like longer food storage stuff. But for now I can at least put them in some bins. So all purpose flour, this is what I use to feed my starter all the time to bake my bread with all of that. So I need to have lots of it in case for some reason I can't get any of it. And then likewise, like I got some light brown sugar. I got bread flour, sugar. I got some more baking soda over here. And then I'll just show you the rest of like the baking stuff. I got um, another thing of vanilla extract. I got some dry active yeast, some more chocolate chips for baking, more baking powder. So this is all stuff that is gonna go in like my back stock downstairs. And then same thing with like the canned stuff. I got just some more canned goods to replenish some of the stuff that we've gone through, some sweet peas, because the kids will actually eat sweet peas, some corn, I got more tuna, um, some more mac and cheese, all of that stuff is good, some pasta sauce. So that we just kind of store down there. And then for like the next couple weeks, I got my creamer, which I love, but man, this thing is like almost $6. Like, I guess if you compare it to like Starbucks coffee, like my coffee from Starbucks, my iced chai that I get, is like seven dollars so i guess that's still better but man creamer freaking creamer is expensive i got that whipping cream for a recipe that i'm gonna make whipped cream because the kids love berries with whipped cream i got a whole bunch of cheese because now that i have tomatoes from the garden i'm gonna make like caprice and mozzarella salads all of that some meat so i can make little sandwiches for myself I got cube cheese, string cheese. I got mozzarella cheese because I'm gonna make like non-bread pizzas this week. Then some sliced cheese for sandwiches. So all of that is just like our typical stuff. Eggs, apples for the kids, bananas. I have a recipe I wanna try that needed some lemon, so I got lemons. And then Paw Patrol Danimals because my kids are obsessed with these. I did also get a cooling rack because as much as I'm baking these days, I don't have a cooling rack. So I got one of these. So I already showed you all of that. Just berries for the kids. Kodiak cake, power waffles. And then I did get some Texas toast because I'm going to make pasta this week. And I just wanted something easy to serve with it. And then I got them their Italian ice that they love. I got croutons for salads, milk, Caesar salad because I'm going to do the night that I do the pizzas. I'm going to put like a Caesar salad on the side. Got some spring mix and then ginger ale. And then I ordered like the Annie's cheddar bunnies. They didn't have it. So they gave me this. I might just keep this in the pantry for back stock just in case. Can I help you? You want a Paw Patrol Danimal? Which Paw Patrol do you want? Chase. You want Chase? Let me see if I can find Chase. All right. We've got, who's this one? Zuma. Zuma. And who's this one? Chase. You want Chase? Yeah. Let me give you a straw. How do you sing the song?
Jackson, who is your favorite Paw Patrol? Chase. Chase? Yeah. What kind of car does Chase have? Have beach car. He has a police car? Yeah. Does it go fast or slow? Fast. Fast? Who's, <laughs> the, who's, who's the other Paw Patrol? Zuma on your porch. Zuma has a boat? Yeah. And who else? Who else do we got? Sky. Sky? What does Sky have? Airplane. Airplane? What about Marshall? What does Marshall have? Uh, fire truck. Fire truck? Yeah. Wow. Well, here you go. Here's Chase. What do you say? Yeah. All right, so it is later. It is 12.08. We are back from our play date. The kids had the best time. It actually ended up being more of us than I thought. There were quite a few kids there. It was like four, four moms with their kids. So it was nice for them to like get the play and stuff. I just got an Amazon Prime package. It's not very exciting, but... I guess I will show you what it is. Yesterday on the way home, I ordered, since I knew I was gonna be out in the garden and stuff, I ordered some bug spray because lately when I go out there, especially like at night, I get annihilated by mosquitoes, like annihilated. Like the other day, I freaking looked like I had chicken box, but I had like just mosquito bites. So I got this badger um, spray. I don't know if it's gonna be good, but I know that the badger brand is like one of the better brands. It says certified organic and deep free. So I'm gonna try this out and hopefully it will prevent my legs from getting attacked because the last couple times have been really bad. I'm hoping that when the kids go down for quiet time, nap time, that maybe I can get a couple things done. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go out in the garden or do the toy rotation. In my perfect world, I'd be able to do both, but I don't know. I haven't even had breakfast, by the way. I haven't even had breakfast myself. I left here and in such a rush, whatever. I got to talk to my girlfriend on the phone for a while. She called me on her way to work. The one that I was at the, the baptism with, the, my girlfriend in Miami that has the twin boys. So we chatted for a while, which was nice while I was putting away the groceries. But then straight from here, I had to go to the other play date. So it was nice. It was nice to get together, to have the kids play and interact. And like always, you guys, like if you haven't started taking your kids out like to play groups or if you're not at the point yet where your kids like regularly interact with other kids just know that when you start doing it even if it's like taking your kids to the park and stuff and they start hanging out with other kids just know that it is going to be a common occurrence like a normal thing that the kids like don't share or like they fight or you know one of the kids makes the other kids sad like you have to navigate all of that and it's always like you know, like you're always like, really like why in this moment are you having a tantrum or why can't you let that kid have the car that you're playing with or why can't you share the blocks? Like it's, it's something that we have to go through. So like I do my best, like today Jackson was building a little ramp for his cars and of course one of the other little girls wanted to play with him. She didn't understand, she was even younger than him. So she was like knocking over his ramp and he was having a fit. So I tried to like get in there and like redirect him, say okay, let's build another tower over here. Like you try to keep everybody happy but even with that, there are moments when they still are having a tantrum or they're just being kids. And so just know that it's common, know that it's normal, like it's developmentally normal that your kids are having an issue with sharing when they're like two. So I go into it now these days, like just expecting that that's gonna happen. But the more that the kids have like gone and played with other kids, like the more that like they get along, the more that they, you know, know how to interact in those settings and like Riley loves it. Riley goes there now. For the most part, she's like the oldest one sometimes, like or one of the older ones because a lot of her age kids are like in school now. So when I go with Jackson now, like she kind of tags along, but she's always like the mother hen of like the other little kids and it's so cute. Like she plays well with even younger kids because she's used to doing that with her brother. So regardless, it was a great time and I'm glad that I got to catch up with some of the moms. And now I have to like attend to <laughs> the stuff here. This morning I did though I got some of my like devotional stuff done this morning I'm trying to more regularly go on the app that I have that I told you about it's called Halo. it's a Catholic app but they do like a daily gospel reading and then like a reflection on it so that's what I listened to so like this morning while I was doing my makeup and like putting on clothes I was listening to it and it was like nine minutes long so I did that and then I've got to start some kind of devotional. The ones that I normally read from Daily Grace Co. I've got a bunch of them upstairs. I just have to pick which one I'm gonna read now because the one that I had been reading, the one that was like 90 days, it's probably still here. It's been like my favorite one so far. Now I'm done with it. But this one that I had shared like a million times, look, it's got like all the water coffee stains on it. I love this devotional, but now I am done. Actually, you know what? I do need to get a devotional, but I'll tell you with a book that I am reading now. I started reading it 
in the car and maybe I'll continue to read it now, but it's called Awakening Wonder. It's this book. I think it's missing like the sleeve, but Awakening Wonder. My sister-in-law sent it to me. So Joe's brother's wife sent it to me and it's about like homeschooling. It's about just like this one mom who now has like her kids are like older and they're out of the house, all of that. So she had four kids. She homeschooled all of them. And she's just like giving her account of like the philosophy that she used with raising her kids. And they all turned out to be like superstars. Like they're all like authors and, you know, well respected in their professions. And I think they have families and all of that. But she kind of gives her philosophy of, you know, what she wanted to teach her kids. She wanted to teach her kids how to love learning, how to enjoy you know, learning new things and all of that. And so it's very aligned with like what I want to teach Riley in terms of homeschooling with both of my kids and fostering like a good sense of like the family unit. And so like the chapter I was reading yesterday was really about how you as a mom, even whether you're like homeschooling or not, it applies to you, but like how you are their model, you are their role model. So if you want them to have this love for knowledge, then they better see you also have this love for knowledge and love for reading and love for, learning new things if that's what you ultimately want like for them to have same with their faith if you want them to have a good relationship with the lord then they should see you also actively seeking that and actively reading your devotionals reading your bible strengthening your faith because they they pick up on everything they pick up on the good they pick up on the bad like they definitely pick up on the bad like riley these days sometimes when she's like having a fit or having a meltdown like i see her get angry and snappy and then i'm like that's not okay, but then I remember like sometimes like I do that too. So she's just copying me. So those are the things that I have to work on. I have to work on not having as bad a temper as I sometimes do because then she will later reflect that as, as she is like right now. But the book is good so far is what I'm trying to say. So I'm trying to read that. And what I like about that book is it's a combination of like homeschool stuff, but also like pieces of faith. So I wanna read that and then open up some kind of new devotional that I can start since the other one is done. But that's just some of the stuff that's on my mind, guys. So I don't know if this is just word vomit blog. This is all the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about and I've just been on vacation and doing other things. I actually have one more thing before I forget to show you. So my mom, for my birthday, I had asked, she had asked me like, oh, what do you want for your birthday? And I told her, all I want for my birthday is a sourdough knife, like a bread knife, like an official bread knife. And so I had sent her a link and she's like, really, that's all you want, a bread knife? I was like, that was, that's what would make me so happy. And so I got home yesterday and found this waiting for me at my door. So it's the Ballerina Farm bread knife. And it has like this little cover on right now so that I don't cut my fingers off. But this is gonna make it super easy when I go and I make like a loaf of bread, a loaf of sourdough. It's like a knife that's specifically for cutting it so that it'll be really easy to do that. So I'm super happy with it. I follow Ballerina Farm on um, Instagram. I love her stuff. She's the cutest, like girliest, like mom and like all her family lives on their farm and they have a legit farm and she bakes and all of that. So she has her bread knife and my mom got it for me. So thank you, Mimi and Papa. Really appreciate my bread knife. That again is how you know you're getting old because I'm 32 years old and all I wanted for my birthday was a bread knife to cut my sourdough. And then speaking of sourdough, I actually have to, I had pulled out Phyllis from the fridge. I had left her in the fridge while we were gone. So last night I pulled her out so she can get to like room temperature. So I actually am going to start feeding her again. So I'm gonna put her in this jar, then add some water and some flour and start getting her active again so that hopefully here soon this week, I can bake a loaf and then be able to use my knife. Here. Here you go, guys. It is later, the kids are doing quiet time. So I'm gonna come out here to the garden. It's kind of um it's kind of sprinkling, so I'm probably not gonna be able to bring my camera out there too much. But I'm gonna see what I can get done. I've got the monitor so I can hear the kids. I'm gonna leave the screen open and I've got my harvesting basket, I got some bags. Let me see, do I risk it? Can I take my camera out there? Probably not. Um, but let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can harvest at least a couple of those tomatoes. I wanna make a tomato sauce with tomatoes. If I get enough, I think I need like four pounds. I don't know if I have four pounds. But at least if I can get some weeding done, take care of like the tomatoes that flipped over all of that, then that would be good. So let's do a little bit of gardening. I feel so happy to be at this moment. I've been thinking of this moment since we left, like returning to the garden, and getting things back in order. I wanna see if I do any planting today, so that way I have like two weeks 
before we leave so that maybe I can transplant some stuff to the garden if it's ready on time. So lots of big plants, but let's see what I can, you know, like always actually do. All right, I switched over to my iPhone so I can bring you guys along. Let's get some work done over here. back inside Jackson is still in his room but Riley got out of quiet time and said she wants me to come to where, where am I going here what is this called this is called Riley's reading section library oh we're gonna pretend we're at the library yeah so this is all the books I'm gonna read oh all of these yeah. every single one of these apparently we have to take a trip to a library return some books um so tell me about it which book are you gonna read to me to figure out how this book is. That one? Yeah. I have different kinds of pages of this. This is the big the the big book of blue, so you might have to check out this book. Okay. I read it. Okay. So read it to me. So um let me see. The big book of blue. There's all there's all different kinds of animals. Sharks, um, octopus, stingrays, whale. What's the biggest whale? The biggest whale is the blue whale. The blue whale? Yeah. What other kinds of whales are there? There is orcas, killer whales. Actually, that's the name of the orca. Really? Killer whales, uh, like sperm whale, those are really dangerous. Yeah? Yeah, they're giant and like they're bigger than the orca. What about a beluga? A beluga is definitely smaller than this kind of whale. Really? Right, I'm gonna go get Jackson, so why don't you tell your guys a little bit about more about that book? Okay, sure, I'll keep my eye on your guys. Okay, thanks. Hi guys, I'm gonna get you some facts about this book. Different kinds of animals in the ocean, like sperm whales, orcas, any times about these, also like sea snakes, jellyfish, redfish, giant blue whale, all these kinds of like creatures. And there's also sharks, legend sharks, bull sharks, tire sharks, real white sharks, uncle megalodons, and lots of fossils. All those different kinds of creatures. Look, Jackson, right? He's reading books. No. Do you want her to read you a book? Oh. Jackson. You're okay. No, You're okay. Here, I got this one that you can read. So there's yeah. like sea turtles, sea horses, you different watch? kinds of creepy you things like mora eels. Mora yeah. eels? Yeah. Those are what Dada swims with sometimes. When does Dada swim with mora eels? Kind of fake news videos is down at the sea there's turtles all around one time a turtle swam up to a jelly he didn't mind he got stung really <laughs> yeah nice. these are the books that joe every night reads to her some kind of book these are some of our favorite homeschool books too the big book of books so those aren't from the library that one we own so i'll see if i can link well, I'll link my, you guys know I have, maybe you don't know if you don't watch my homeschool videos, hey! but I have like an Amazon storefront that's just for homeschool no, no, stuff, no, which no. includes like a lot of these books that I like to use for them and stuff and like their manipulatives and just like educational toys and stuff. So I'll link it in the description box in case you want to check it out. Maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't and you can just ignore it. Yeah.
want to watch? You want to read something with Mama? No, um, these no. are only books you can read. No, Do we want to play with cars? No. Do we want to play with magnets? So I think now I'm gonna actually take a break and just hang out with the kids. I would say like, oh, maybe I would take this time and clean up, but I'm not really going to because I think I'm gonna save that for later because I'm gonna do, like I said, I need to do a toy rotation. So maybe I'll just chill out here and read a little bit, hang out with them, and then at some point I need to start working on dinner. Do you know what letter this is? No. Here, let's work on them. And then we'll put them in the hotel. What letter is this? No, no, for, for what is in there? Rocky's in there? Okay, for, listen. For the workers. What letter is this one? Um, like A. 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 Like what about this one? B. B, good job. What about this one? C. C. Right there. B is right there? Yeah. Okay, can you show me with your finger? Which one is C? Point at C. Which one is C? Now, which one is A? There. No, the but, mine in my play, my cars. I know you're playing with your cars, but you also need to work on your alphabet. Okay? A. A. Look at A. Now an A? No. Okay, A. All right, the kids have been playing super nicely today. They're kind of doing their own thing. Jackson's still playing with the magnet tiles and Riley is in the bathroom downstairs. She's like pretending that, I don't know, all the Peppas are in the canoe and they're in the water. She's entertained and quiet right now. So I'm going to put some stuff to wash. And then I think I mentioned to you guys at the beginning of the video that I plan on starting homeschool like relatively soon. I just feel like, I don't know, it's still like the middle of August. So I wanted to give Riley a little bit more time and then kind of pick up with like the actual schoolwork sometime later. Like, are your kids already in school? I feel like every year it gets earlier and earlier. So I haven't been in a huge rush to get her started, especially since, like I said, like we're gonna be traveling a bit. So I don't feel like I have to get it done like today. So that's why in today's vlog, you're not really seeing her do school because we are not starting it yet. But eventually, once we do start, then I'll have to decide how I'm gonna structure that and if I'm gonna do it in the morning, in the afternoon, if I'm gonna kind of leave it up to the day. I wanna have some kind of more of a structure, but then I have to understand too that there are some days where like things are gonna come up. Like if Riley has the opportunity to go to a play date with like the mom's club, like I would want her to do that because then she gets a chance to interact with other people. But those play groups aren't like every single day. So it might a little bit kind of depend on the day. I want you guys to see like how much more Jackson is talking. So I'm gonna try to see if I can just capture him on camera just talking a little bit more and playing. Stop it. What is that? See? See what? What is that for? Kitchen. Kitchen? The kitchen doesn't fit in there. That's for the garbage can. You threw away the whole kitchen? Yeah. Right, sometimes you have to do that. Jackson, what shape is this? That's garbage. That's garbage too? Yeah. This is like a whole moving van of just getting rid of all this garbage of furniture? For the garbage truck. For the garbage truck? Yeah. What about this? What is this? The tree is on the truck. You're going to put the tree in the truck? What is happening over here? This is the hotel. The hotel for the Peppas? Mm -hmm. So you bust them over here? <laughs> Look at all the Peppas <laughs> in, the, in the bus. Look at that. What are they going to do in the hotel? They are going to wait until they can go to the park. 
the far away park from their house. Really? And then they're going to go go to an, to a, to Legoland. Legoland? After the sleep because it's really far. They're going to Legoland. Jackson, what about this guy? Uh, uh, that did Alligator? Okay, we're ready to go to the, in the bus. Why, why are you doing that? Is it scary? Oh dear. Well, it's daytime and they're going to Legoland. So that she puts all the peppers to sleep? Did they sleep comfy? Did yeah, they have a nice time? Have a nice time. Pella dressed up in her pajamas. Yeah, Beep. and now they're going to Legoland? Oh. Mm -hmm. Very see? nice. What did we see? More garbage? Yeah. You guys, this is literally what they do like half their life. They just dump their toys and then they play pretend and they put their garbage trucks and put stuff in the garbage trucks and Riley plays pretend with her Peppas. She's still playing with her Peppas all these years later. Do you still love your Peppas? I still love my Peppas. I like pretend. Sometimes they'll actually play together and they'll do like pretend stuff together. Like sometimes they'll play with their Paw Patrols and stuff and they'll play like there's a mission. But today they're playing kind of their own thing. Yeah, and it's really nice because they're not fighting. Okay, put it in the garbage. All right, guys, so it is a little later. Um, we did a little cleanup. I don't even know if you can tell, but we did a little cleanup because Joe's on his way home from work. He's going to be home any minute now. Um, I'm going to make the kids a snack because, of course, they can't wait until dinner to eat. And they've asked me 5,000 times. So I'm just going to give them some strawberries, hey, some whipped cream. Hi. You want strawberries and whipped cream? Yeah. Is that gonna make you happy? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, did I even show you my harvest? A pizza. Those are tomatoes. Yeah. So it's we've got tomatoes. Big, yeah. I don't think enough to make like a sauce. Ideally, I would have more of like the big tomatoes, but I can definitely like tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna make myself for big. lunch like an orzo Beatles. pasta salad oh. with cherry tomatoes. Small beetle. Small tomato. Yeah. So that's gonna be my plan, I think, Beatles. with these. Like, what else can I? make with cherry tomatoes like really just mozzarella salads or some kind of orzo like that yeah. like you can't make pasta sauce with this can you like i really don't think so i mean i could be wrong so there we go that's gonna be their little snack and hopefully that'll be enough to keep them content for a minute yeah. there you go and then while the kids were playing i did paint my nails i don't know if you guys notice in this vlog my nails have not been done um, one of my biggest pet peeves is when my nails are not done. So I took a quick second and just painted them really fast. This is one of my all-time favorite um, colors. It's not going to focus, but this one is called World Lit. It's from Olive and June, the company that, like, I love their nail polishes. I'm going to leave a link for them in the description box. I think I have a code that gets you 20% off if you buy, like, a full kit, like, a full system. So they have, like, these full Manny systems where you get, like, the nail polish. You get the nail polish remover. You get, like, all of the tools. You get the cuticle serum so that's like what they consider the mani kit i think it's great nail polish and this thing i don't want to use it now because like it'll ruin my nails but this is my favorite way to take off my nail polish these days like it's a little pot and then you put your finger like right in there and you twist and the nail polish comes right off it's my favorite thing like one of my life-changing purchases things that i've ever had in my life is this right here as dumb as that sounds i love their nail polishes they have like the prettiest colors and i've really enjoyed them so again if you want to save 20 percent off on them my code is down below i think it's always there in the description box it's one of those things that like i have a forever code for so yes i am happy at least i have nails on now joseph is home from work did you have a nice day dada Good. joseph i have something to show you <laughs> can i show it to you <laughs> look I want you to look underneath this jacket. I want you to see what was in our garden. <laughs> look at the size of that zucchini. Did you know that they could get this big? I mean, I've seen some bigger ones, but this is like a small child. Hold it like a small child. Like, look at that. Our zucchini baby. I cannot. I, I was looking behind there and then I saw like this giant green thing and I was like, no, like, there's no way that it can be smaller. <laughs> I mean, there's no way that it could be bigger than the one that was like before. That's massive. It's crazy. So yeah, I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Our large zucchini, I have to do something with it. All right, it is dinner time. We're gonna sit down and have dinner. I made those non-bread pizzas with some salad. 
So that is what we are all eating. We're gonna see if the kids will have some pizza. I made them some too. So for them, like righties, I cut up in, well, Joe cut up into strips. And then we've got apples, a string cheese, and then that's some of the Catalina Crunch, the snack mix. And then for Jackson, he said he wanted his like whole. So he's got a pizza, the same thing. Catalina Crunch, snack mix, apples, and string cheese. You ready to eat your papa? Yeah, yeah. So we'll see if they eat it. When we were on vacation, they both ate pizza, like champs. Like they ate that pizza. Whole yeah, slice. he almost had like a whole slice. So I'm hoping that that's something that sticks because up until this point, like they've kind of been like on and off, hit or miss. Sometimes they don't touch it, but we'll see. So I'm gonna end the vlog here so we can take care of the rest of the night. Lots of content, lots of videos to come because I've got lots of stuff to do. So thank you for being here. Thank you again to Catalina Crunch for sponsoring today's video. I love your freaking faces. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.